Since 1928, Miko has been in the forefront of innovations starting with its first vapor compression patent in 1939 that revolutionized the process of desalination and purification of water. Miko's most recent innovation came in the form of the patented modern variable speed direct drive compressor technology known as the G2. The compressor is the single most important component within the vapor compression cycle. In developing the G2, we wanted to make some real improvements in current compressor technology. We wanted a, a device that required less maintenance and would be highly reliable. We wanted to eliminate oil leaks within the existing systems, reduce noise, and improve energy efficiency. Until now, typical compressors used in the vapor compression cycle were large industrial fans or smaller high-speed devices using gearboxes or belt drives as transmission systems. Transmission systems such as belts or gears add to the complexity of compressor systems, increasing maintenance and reducing reliability. Miko needed to eliminate the transmission system and find a means of driving the compressor directly. We decided to use a variable speed motor with a variable speed drive. In doing so, we obviously eliminated a number of components, but also improved the efficiency of the unit. When considering a direct drive system, note the variable speed motor on the compressor provides for a variable output of the product water, allowing the user to match his water production to water demand. In addition, the electrical load is not directly proportional to the volume of product water produced. Using this technology, a 25% reduction in capacity results in a 50% reduction in power consumption. There are other benefits associated with this design approach. Matching production to demand allows for fewer starts and stops. The electrical voltage spikes and enriched current associated with starting older machines is now eliminated. The electrical switch gear feeding the equipment is also smaller and less costly. Clearly, the move to a variable speed direct drive system reduced maintenance, improved reliability, and reduced energy consumption, but there was still work to do. One of the least desirable features of traditional vapor compression systems is the oil system associated with the compressor. These old oil systems use a pump to recirculate gallons of oil through a cooler, filter, and distribution block. They put a burden on the seals and eventually leak. They require oil filter change and oil every six months. The new G2 technology uses air to cool the bearings so we don't have to circulate oil. We mist the bearings every few minutes with oil in a once through system to lubricate them, but the consumption is way down and we don't have to recirculate. With the new G2 oil system, we don't have oil seal leaks. We also don't have to change out the oil filter and oil. We just refill the reservoir with about two quarts of oil a year. Eliminating the use of belts and gears, as well as the recirculating oil system, is a tremendous leap forward. Co-current with these developments was a significant reduction in noise. The noise generated by the old systems was a real issue. Noise measurements on typical machines exceeded 90 decibels. That's similar to a lawnmower or a circular saw cutting through a piece of wood. Hearing protection was required and isolating machines away from other workers was also necessary. The noise was a safety concern as well. As you know, this is our old style C compressor belt drive. And as you can see, it's a very loud piece of equipment. Our new G2 will be much lower. You'll be able to talk in a normal voice. This is our new G2 C. And as you can see, the decimal readings are much lower, around 78 to 80. By removing 90% of the parts, including gearboxes, couplings, belts, and shivs, along with incorporation of an updated lubrication system, Miko has engineered a compressor that has remarkable reliability. The direct coupling of the compressor and motor housing also eliminates the side load associated with belt transmission systems as well as the vibrations induced by the coupling gearbox. The maintenance has been significantly reduced. It's just not the all system, but also the direct drive. We don't have to remove the belt guard or tension belts or align gears anymore. The whole system is automated. We measure and track everything on the new G2, whether it's bearing, temperatures, winding temperatures, vibration, lubrication, cooling. 
The overall reliability of the G2 has been improved through a number of means. First, by simply eliminating a number of components and not including any new or complex components. Second, by doubling the design life of the bearings. These machines will last 20 to 30 years, so it makes sense to retrofit the older unit with the new G2 technology. Safety improvements were not an original objective of the G2 program, but they've certainly been the largest byproduct. Maintaining and adjusting transmission systems presented a hazard. The oil and noise associated with the earlier systems also presented safety concerns. We're proud of the work we do here at MECO, and we're continuing a legacy of innovation that's more than 80 years old.